Welcome to another episode of Are Your Designs Any Good? Introducing Are Your Designs Any Good with Shimmy Morris. Now in this episode I want to go over hopefully another 8 to 10 designs we will see. The aim for these episodes are that they last about 10 to 15 minutes and they don't go over that. So however many designs I can get done in that time, that's how long this episode is going to be. And before I get into it, let me just quickly say, if you want your design to be submitted, then the link is in the description. You just have to go to this website. Once you're on this website, you'll be able to email your design. And as well as that, if you're new here, you haven't already subscribed. My name is Shane Morris. I make videos on print on demand you know, Amazon FBA, all these kind of things. So definitely hit that subscribe button and let's get cracking on with the video. So I'm going to do this a bit differently from now. I read your comments from the last one and I want to improve on this series just a bit better. I'm going to split these reviews into three categories. The first category is going to be the overall design quality and the lettering right, and what the design looks like and I'm gonna rate it one out of 10. The next is going to be the marketing and niche potential. So I wanna see what the potential is with a design, with the marketing and the niche, and as well as that, also give some advice there. And number three is improvements I would make to the design if there are any improvements. Now, I just want to be straight with you. I am going to be critiquing everyone's design here. I know last time I said criticizing, I didn't mean to say that. I'm going to be critiquing everyone's designs here. Um, don't take anything too harshly or any I'm just being completely blunt and another very important thing to note these are just my opinions okay a lot of these designs that you sent me I might not even understand I might not get I might not like them but they are just my opinions the fact that you value my opinion is amazing and I really appreciate that but you have to understand it is just my opinion this is a brilliant one gaming doesn't make us violent lag does so just looking at this design firstly the colouring is brilliant. I really like the red. I like the red on white as well with the black background of the t-shirt. It's very bold. It's very striking. I like that um, you've only used one font. I think that's really, really good. Um, it's very niche. You're targeting people who are gamers. Um, and it's also a common issue with gamers. And it's just a common misconception that people who like to game are violent. Um, if you play shooting games, you, you like shooting people. I think it's really stupid, but that's besides the point. This is a very funny take on that by saying the lag, and anyone who anyone doesn't know this, it's just the gaming lag um, makes someone violent. I think that's very, very good. Now, in terms of who to target, so category two, I know I said I was gonna rate them out of 10, but I've changed my mind. I don't wanna rate them out of 10, that's stupid. So in terms of who to target, well clearly we're targeting gamers here. Now you could do specific gaming colours and target specific games, that could be quite cool. Um, but targeting just general gamers is going to be quite difficult. So what I would suggest is targeting based on gender and location and age. And that's how you can whittle it down so that you're not just targeting an entire gaming audience because you're looking at a lot of people there. Now, things I would do, improvements I would change. Um, well, I would fix the spacing a bit because for me, the spacing's a bit off. Um, the violent with the red box around it, I would put the violent in the middle of the box. There's a bit more space on the bottom of the word than the top. And then the side is just stretched out a bit too much. So I would make it a bit, I, I would fix that a bit, fix that spacing. Other than that, I mean, I would move the whole design a bit further up so it's nearer the neck, not so far down. But that's a brilliant design. So well done to whoever made this design. Really, really good design, I love it. Right, behind every successful man, there is a woman. Survivorship bias. Um, okay, well, let me just start with what I think of the design. First, the first category here. It's very basic, that's absolutely fine. There's one font, so that's really, really good. Um, it's it's a very common phrase, so that's that's that, that's good. Um, yeah, it's kind of what I have for what I like about it. Let me just close this. I don't know why my email, does anyone who has a Mac, do they find their email just pops open random times? I think it's, ugh. sorry. What would I, who would I target? What's the targeting of this second category now? Um, this is really hard because I don't know who to target here. I would obviously target women, not men, because no man is going to buy this for themselves. Um, so you could target Married women, maybe, Ugh, I don't know. 
I don't know, this is a good birthday present, it's a good anniversary present, so you could target people who marry women who, you know, have an anniversary coming up, something like that. But honestly, I, I don't know. And then category three, what improvements would I make to it? I would make a lot of improvements and I would start with not actually using this design because there is, I find, little targeting here. Um, I feel like it's just very basic text on a t-shirt. There's no real creativity here. Um, and I said, I've said in other videos, you've got to fit it into two categories. Either you're a great designer or you're a great marketer. And if you're a great designer, you don't really need to be so niche. You just need great designs. And if you're a great marketer, you don't need it to be such good designs. You just need to be really targeted. This, unfortunately, is neither targeted nor a good design. That's my issue with it. Right, moving on. Summer. It's summertime. Um, okay. Um, I love the font. I think it's really cute. It's really, really cool. Um, I love what you've got going on there. Um... Okay, next category, targeting. I have no idea who the heck you're targeting with this. Honestly, I've got no idea. Um, I would say you can target... I don't even know. I genuinely don't know. Um, I guess target around August, September, you know, June, July, August, September. But I don't know who you're targeting. And then category three, improvements. I would say, firstly, does it move the design up so it's over here on the chest, not on the belly. Um, because it's weird for a design to be so low down and if you use place it which it looks like you have you can actually move the design up which is fine and um, what else would I do I would make it a bit more targeted it's really 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 untargeted I don't know who you're targeting so unless you've got a, already got an audience there then I don't know I just don't know who you're targeting with this right this is well they said in the email this is for people who are into the second amendment and who are into cats and I have to say this is a sick design like this is such a cool design it is just sick however however i wouldn't personally i wouldn't personally go for this niche i'll explain that in a minute but okay just going on to the design i love the graphics here it's just all spot on perfect it's the right height it's the right size it's just brilliant well done however targeting you're targeting obviously it's very niche because you've got targeting cats and people who like the second amendment so that's brilliant well done there as well improvements i would say in terms of design there's absolutely zero improvements i can think of maybe get rid of the halo i don't like the halo i guess it's like a cat angel maybe don't understand why it's a cat angel why it can't just be a cat um because that's another thing when someone sees this a cat lover who sees this they might not immediately see a cat because of the wings so maybe i would change the design like that get rid of the wings um and in terms of targeting, I'm just a bit iffy. Are there that many Second Amendment people who l love cats as well? They just don't seem like they kind of go together. If you can figure out a good audience that likes both cats and the Second Amendment and guns and stuff, then brilliant, because this is a super cool design. So well done there. Another design. Pawsome. This is cute. This is simplistic, and I actually like it. So you've got one font, you've got the silhouette of the cat, the cat face. Um, it's really good. It's really, really good, and it's super simple. And not only is it simple, it's targeted. I like that. This is the kind of design that I like. I like this a lot. So in terms of targeting, you'd obviously target people who like cats. To give you some advice here, you want to target um, cat shelters. Um, cat shelters is always a really, really good one because people who follow and like cat shelters, and uh, like dog shelters, um, they're really, really passionate about the animal. So they're more likely to actually spend money. Also, people who like cat magazines. So that's who I would target for this. And then in terms of improvements, honestly, everything about this design is just so good. I really, really like it. It's really, really fun. And um, it's great. I might I might suggest maybe getting rid of the explanation mark. But to be honest, it doesn't even need it. It's really, really good. So well done. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of cards going on here. So I think I remember the email saying that the person who made this was 11 years old. So I just want to start by saying, well done. Congratulations for just being innovative and wanting to succeed and make money online at the age of 11. Hats off to you. And you, you're doing great. Now, I, I, I'm going to be nice as I can with this design. I don't want to be too mean. 
But you've got um, a few things going on here. You've got pool party, you've got hashtag at the beach, fun, life, wow, love, I like, player, and happy. Now, the only thing I would say to you is, it's cut off by the way a bit over here, but um, the design, I love the colors. I love that it's a simple rectangle. I think it's really cute, really cool. I can see kids wearing this. I can't see adults wearing this, gonna be honest with you. I can see kids wearing this. Um, however, you're gonna struggle a bit when it comes to targeting. So let's just discuss the targeting category. I don't know who you're gonna target. You can target people who, you can target parents who have younger kids. So you can go into Facebook or, or if you don't wanna pay for ads, you can target parents who have kids between the ages of three and 10 or something um, because they're the type of people that are aware of this. Um, however, I just, I think it's gonna be very hard to target because it's not very niche, okay? It's very broad. So it could be quite difficult for you to actually sell this to to someone um, what i would improve is i would improve there's too many fonts um, just a few too many fonts i think there's also too many colors um, however again if it is for kids the colors thing is fine also i think it needs to be slightly more targeted so maybe like i love surfing on the beach something to do with surfing and being at the beach or making sand castles being on the beach if it's for kids stuff like that but try and make it more targeted not just pool party wow beach at the beach does that make sense and again just want to say just hats off to you for, you know, being 11 and, 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 and getting started in business online. Right, okay, it's been 12 and a half minutes for this video, so let's get cracking on. A few more, a few more we can get, get covered here. Right, Heartbreak Hotel Love Sucks. This is an interesting one, I, I mm, okay. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna just skip the bit where I say how good the design is and I'm gonna to go to the targeting. Targeting is going to be pretty, pretty difficult. I don't know who you're targeting here. Maybe people who have recently been in a breakup. Um, again, I don't know why they'd want to publicize it and wear a t-shirt about it. It's not People don't like to publicize this kind of stuff on the streets. I think it's a bit weird. Um, and then I'm going to skip all the way to improvements and I would say don't sell this t-shirt. I just think it's a bit weird. Um, I don't understand what these red things are on either side of the hotel. Um, I don't like that it's got a bunch of fonts. Um, it's the hotel has a glow behind it that you've just got like an emoji building there it just seems a bit meh it seems a bit random all over the place don't i don't really know who you would target or who would wear this sorry for being honest with you oh my gosh okay right Th this design firstly again i'm gonna skip straight to targeting because i cannot see anything i like about this design sorry for being horrible um targeting is going to be people who support trump easy simple um i don't know there's a lot of people there so i don't know how you would do that but for anyone in america who understands how the system works i'm sure you can target a specific area of people that like trump in terms of improvements please don't sell this um the, oh it's first it's impossible to read trump wins 2020 that's just a horrible font you then got the presidential election underneath, which is in another random color, which actually clashes with the gold. And and then it looks like it's just been stuck on. It doesn't look like it's actually on the design. You then got five stars. And then the actual design is a massive optical illusion. Like my mind is, it, it's going into a whirlpool of craziness right now. Um, I'm not even gonna give you anything to improve it. Just get rid of it. Don't, don't do it, please. And then the ninth, yeah, we got, you know what, no, we're gonna we're gonna save this one for the next episode. I'm thinking, by the way, I'm gonna bring out a fourth video per week. So I know I do three videos per week now, you know, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I think I'm going to save these episodes and bring out a video on Saturday, which is going to be, are your designs any good, the episodes. So a new episode every Saturday. What do you think about me doing that? Adding a fourth day of the week of a video. Um, it's going to be a ton more work, but you know what? I think it could be really, really good and I'm excited about it. So do let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you want your designs to be critiqued, then the link is in the description and I will get to them as soon as I can. Please make sure to follow all the rules when sending over your designs. They are on the, the page that you go to. But uh, once again, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope I helped you out.